Hello, I thought I would do uh, a collection of the dream teams that are in the Dart Bowl League since it's now started. I think I'm going to do an update at the end of every round just to give an idea how everyone's dream team is doing. Uh, and I think it'd be quite interesting. Uh, so I've done a little uh, series of the teams. Obviously it's going to be hard to read, so I've tried to use a color-coded system. So, for instance, you can say, I'm sorry, Jack, and any other colorblind people, but I have also written everything as well. But it's just a lot easier on a small screen. Um, so, for instance, this is Alec's dream team. So I've kept uh, Alec in purple. Uh, Alec's team are the Egyptian Disco, uh, the Camry team. You've got uh, Matt, so because it's Alec's team, purple at the top. Uh, Matt's team, the Norse Stochastic Slashers, are going to be in red. Uh, Jack's High Elf team, FC Lothran, are going to be in light blue. Uh, Dan's Chaos Pack team, Average Tom's Gym, are in green. Uh, Sean's Chaos Dwarf Therusian Thunderers are in orange. And Ben's Skaven Spikey's Blue Bits are in blue. Uh, dark blue. So this is Alex's dream team. And uh, you can see he's gone for two of the Norse, uh, Snow Troll and Ulfenverner, Trigonometry and Lenny R Systems. Well done to any mass people who are getting these jokes. He's gone for uh, three uh, from FC Lothran. Uh, the most popular three. <coughs> well, no, actually not. He's taken the thrower, uh, Comet Snake, uh, Blitzer, Iron Lizard, but then has taken a, a punt on a linesman, um, Hope Buck. Which I uh, is an interesting, it's a wild card choice. Not many people, have, uh, nobody else has chosen this player. So uh, if that player does well, it could be really good for Alec. And in the same vein, he's taken two players from uh, Dan's average Tom's gym. One of which is the Marauder. So again, no one's chosen that Marauder. So if somehow Max Baines starts to do well, Alec could uh, really get a push. He's gone conservative with Alec, with uh, Sean's team and taken two ball centers and. Um, Again, he's broken convention with Ben's team, and he's taken one of the Gusser Runners, Legs, the most popular player in the Dream Teams, and uh, then Num Nuts, one of the throwers. So quite a gamble. Uh, an interesting team. He'll either end at the... It'll, I think it'll either be a bottom end or a top end for Alec, given the gambles he's taken. Next up is Ben's team. So now you can see uh, Alex Egyptian Disco in purple here. So you can see Ben has gone big and strong with uh, his selection. He's taken three players from Matt's uh, Norse. Both the Ulfenverners and the Snow Troll, should point out, in case you haven't seen uh, or it's not uploaded yet, Matt's team does not have any positional players except Ulfenverners and, Snow Tr and the Snow Troll. So he's gone for the... Uh, he's gone... He's not taken... Uh, he's the only person who could have taken... Uh, Comet Snake, the uh, high off thrower, and he hasn't. He's gone with a blitzer and a random punt on a linesman, which is quite a, a brave touch. Uh, with the Chaos uh, Chaos Pack team, he's gone with uh, the Chaos Ogre, who's been very popular, and the Goblin Renegade. Ben's the only person to have taken this. Uh, that's an interesting choice. Of course, the Goblin Renegade stands a chance to score quite a few points, but uh, Dan isn't always a big fan of Goblin Renegades, so we'll have to see. Uh, from Alex Egyptian Disco, he's gone with the Tomb Guardian, and he's the only person to take a Blitz Ra. So that might pay off, since uh, it's going to be the Blitz Ra or the um, Throw Ra who was scoring uh, the touchdowns for Alex's team. And then he's got he's the only person who's taken uh, Ragnar, uh, the Minotaur, from the Therusian Thunderers, the Chaos Dwarf team, and he's taken one of the Chaos Dwarf blockers. Um, so Ben has taken quite a few original choices. Again, like Alec, I think it's going to be a high end or a bottom end finish because he's uh, he's picked outside the box. Now Dan's Dan's dream team again, same as Ben. He's gone for the three big fellas from uh, the Norse side. He's gone for the standard uh, FC Lothran Comet Snake Thrower, very popular player, and he's also taken one of the high off blitzers. He's gone for two Tomb Guardians from Egyptian Disco, a Bull Centaur, and a Chaos Dwarf from the Therusian Thunderers. But then both the gutter runners. Uh, this is quite a uh, quite a solid side. Um, he's put a lot of faith in Matt uh, getting the uh, probably casualties with uh, with those Norse. But if it pays off, uh, you know Dan's Dan's got a lot of hitting power there, so he's going to be looking for a lot of ca casualties. Which, if it happens, will be good for his side anyway, provided they're not against him, because it's going to be injuring other sides. So now we have Jack's dream team. We have both the Ulfenverners from the Norse, a single choice from Average Tom's Gym, 
the Dark Elf Renegade. Uh, and then we have two Tomb Guardians from Egyptian Disco. We have three Chaos Dwarf Blockers. That's a, it's a bold call given that Chaos Dwarf Blockers tend to only score casualties. Uh, and then two Gutter Runners from uh, Spikey's Blue Bits and a Blitzer. Uh, I think there's some interesting calls here. Very running play from um, Spikey's Blue Bits and uh, Average Tom's Gym. But then sheer power from Norse to um, Kemri and uh, the Chaos Towards. But then again, what else have they got to offer? Sorry. Then we've got Matt's Dream Team. Uh, you can see here he's gone almost maximum selection with FC Lothran. He's taken all of the positional players that he could. Uh, he's gone um, for the popular choice of the Chaos Ogre and the Dark Elf Renegade with uh, the Chaos Pack team. Toon Toon Guardians from Egyptian Disco seems fairly standard. Two Bull Centers from Therusian Thunderers. I guess they're standing a good chance of scoring the touchdowns and both the gutter runners. Quite a, a solid running team compared to, uh, to most selections. Um, and lastly, we have Sean's Dream Team. You can see he's got uh, a Northern Werner and a Snow Troll from the Norse. He's gone the standard FC Lothran, two Blitzers and a Thrower selection. He's gone for the same as Matt with a Chaos Ogre and the Dark Elf. Kurt Dolby and Javier Blunt from uh, the Chaos Pact. But then he's gone uh, two Tomb Guardians and then the standard two Gutter Runners. So there is quite a lot of crossover between the teams, but no team can be identical. So it's going to be really interesting. At the end of every round, I'm going to update, um, do another uh, uh, round one end uh, Dream Team update to show you who's died, who's injured, and how many star player points they've got this round so we can get an idea of who's keeping the lead. Okay, hope that was okay and not too fast. See you for the next one.